How to lay sod for a perfect lawn. The quickest way to get a gorgeous lawn is to lay sod, uniform patches of grass-covered soil held together by matted roots. It will go more smoothly if you know a few landscaping tricks. You will need a soil test, a garden hoe, a starter fertilizer, a lawn spreader, sod, and a lawn roller. Optional, a power tiller, topsoil, a knife or hand cutter, a can, and a string and stakes. Step one, lay sod at the appropriate time of year, which depends on where you live. Ask your local gardening center or check with the Cooperative Extension System, a national agricultural network. Find the nearest extension office on the USDA website. Step two, test your soil to find out what nutrients it needs. Garden centers sell do-it-yourself kits, or you can arrange a test through your local extension service. Step three, Till your soil with a garden hoe and remove sticks and stones. Consider a power garden tiller if you have a lot of land. Then, apply starter fertilizer with a lawn spreader. If you don't want to bother tilling your land, start fresh by putting in about five inches of topsoil before you add starter fertilizer. Step four, put down the first row of sod along a straight line, like the edge of a driveway. If your yard is uneven all around, create a straight line by tying a string between two stakes. Step five, Stagger the rows of sod the way bricklayers arrange bricks. As you put down each row, tuck the edges into the next one as tightly as possible without overlapping them. Spaces between sod strips can cause the edges to die, turning them brown. Use a sharp knife or hand cutter to trim sections to fit uneven areas. Step six, press the sod into the soil with a weighted lawn roller. This will help knit it into the soil. Step seven, keep your budding lawn moist by watering it once a day for 10 minutes for the next three weeks. After that, give it about an inch and a half of water over a week. Measure how much water your lawn is getting by putting out a can before watering. Step eight, take the weather into consideration. If it's been rainy, water less. If it's been hot and dry, water more. To test if your lawn needs watering, walk on it. If the grass springs back, it's fine. If your footprint remains and the grass has a grayish hue, it's too dry. Step nine, stay off the sod completely for at least two weeks and minimize foot traffic for another two weeks after that. Step 10, wait until your new grass is about five inches tall before mowing it for the first time. Then keep it between two and three inches. Did you know? Overjoyed New York Mets fans celebrated the team's 1969 World Series win by grabbing pieces of sod as souvenirs.